Question number 13. Diagram 10 shows point P, Q and R on a Cartesian plane. Question A. Find P, Q in terms of H. So we are looking for we are looking for vector P, Q. Okay. So vector P, Q means what? P to O and O to Q. So P to O, this one is what? You got the P here. So this P here will represent, if let's say O, P, we know, we always start with O, right? So O, P will be what? The vector will be 4H and 2H. Okay. And then O, Q, we know is what? 0, negative H. Okay, so now we're looking for PO plus OQ. PO will be the opposite of OP. La. So it will be negative 4H, negative 2H, plus OQ is 0, negative H. So your answer is negative 4H minus 3H. Okay, so this is PQ. If they, you want to write in terms of ij as you can. So negative 4hi uh, minus 3hj. Mm. Also can. Okay. Alright, question A2. A2. Given that pq is unit vector, find the value of h. So whenever they say a vector is a unit vector, what that means is the magnitude of the vector is 1. Okay, Mag magnitude means the length. Huh? Okay, so how do you find the magnitude of PQ? You just have to do Pythagoras theorem for the, the vector. So that means Pythagoras theorem means what? A square plus B square equals C square. La. So now in this case, the A square is what? Negative 4H square plus negative 3H square. And then you square root this whole thing. Should be equals to unit vector means 1. So it equals to 1. Okay. So bring the square root the other side, it becomes a uh, square. So one square is still one. And then we expand the inside here. So we have negative four H e squared, you get 16 H square. And this one gives you nine H square. Okay. So you add this together, you get 25 H square equals to one. H square equals to one over 25. <coughs> so H equals to you square root these two, you square root 1 over 25, you get positive, negative 1 over 5. Okay, so that means you got two answers here. But are we going to take both? Are we going to take uh, positive and negative? Answer is no. Huh? Because the H you can see, you can see here. Okay, we just take, for example, you look at P. If H is positive value, it makes sense, right? But if H is negative, 4 times negative 1 over 5 and h times negative 1 over 5, you get a negative value. So the p value won't, the p coordinate won't be here anymore. It'll be somewhere here. Both negative. Okay, so it doesn't make sense. Okay, so that's why we only take the positive value. So h is equals to uh, 1 over 5 or I can write uh, 0 0.2. Okay, this is h. Alright, next question b. Hence, by using vectors show the point p q r are collinear what is collinear collinear is the same thing as similar la, similar to parallel so what's the difference between collinear and parallel is parallel they are separate they are moving in the same direction but they are separate lines whereas for collinear it's two different points combining it's still moving uh, parallel like together but it is on the same line that means they share one same point la. okay so it forms one line so that is collinear so when we want to show that it is collinear we must show that so in this case we got p q r right so if you want to show that it's collinear we must show that the vector of this is same as the vector of this okay or you can also take um p p r also can and compare with another another vector okay up to you which combination you want so we can use in this case i'm going to use pq and qr i'm going to compare the the vector so when we compare the vector they should have the same vector because they are moving in the straight line it's same as same as parallel okay parallel lines they have the same vector okay so you must show that they have the same vector and 
they also share the same common point, point Q. So because they also share the same common point, we can say it's collinear. Because parallel lines, they don't share any common point. Okay. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, let us do this. So let's find the first one. The first one is PQ. Wait, before we find PQ, let us uh, write down the vectors first. Huh? So we know that P, let me just write here. P is what? P is uh, 4H, right? So H is 0 0.2. So 4 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So it's up, up to you. Like, you want to write in fraction as you can. So it'd be 4 over 5. But I'm going to use decimal. Lah. So coordinate, okay, wait, vector P. Wait, huh? okay, I'm going to use the vector instead. So OP. OP equals to 4 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. And then 2 times H, 2 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.4. So this is the OP. And then OQ is what? OQ is 0, negative H, 0, negative H, H is 0 0.2. And then R, R is already given there. O R. O R is uh, negative 8. Uh, 31 over 5. 31 over 5, you can convert it to, if you want to convert to decimals again, so you get negative 6.2. Okay. It's up to you. Lah. I mean, ideally, you don't have to change. Lah, but I, I'm so used to decimal, that's why I use decimal. Okay. So anyway, let us do this. So we can do the first combination is PQ. And the second combination is uh, QR. Okay, so we do PQ first. PQ is what? PO plus OQ. So PO is negative 0 0.8 and negative 0 0.4. Okay, negative 0 0.8 is 0 0.4. You know what? Actually, we don't have to do this. Eh? Because we already have PQ up here. Actually, we already found PQ up here. We can just substitute the H into this and really get the answer. Okay, but never mind, since I'm already doing it, I'm just, just going to do it. Lah. Plus OQ. What is OQ again? OQ is uh, 0 and negative 0 0.2. So what I will get is negative 0 0.8 and negative 0 0.6. Okay, so if I write in IJ form is 0 0.8I minus 0 0.6J. Okay, so this is your PQ. Now we have to find O, uh, sorry, QR. So QR will be QO plus OR. So Q, QO will be 0 and 0 0.2. Okay, let me see this one. I just change it to, uh, neg I mean, the negative become positive. And then OR will be negative 8, negative 6.2. So, this one will give me negative 8 and negative 6. So, you can see the difference here, these two. What is actually happening? They are actually almost the same, right? The vector, very close. It's just that it is, we can actually factorize this. Lah. So, we factorize this, we can do what? Negative, I can use, I can use back negative 0 0.8, negative 0 0.6, but I have to times 10. Right, because 10 times 0 0.8, I get negative 8. 10 times 0, negative 0 0.6, I get negative 6. Okay, so I actually factorize 10 out. So when I factorize 10 out, it becomes 10 negative 0 0.8i minus 0 0.6j. Okay, so it's actually the same vector already. Can you see that? It's already the same vector. So that's what we are trying to do. So now this QR is this. Okay, QR is this. So QR equals to 10 times of this. This is the same as this, right? They are the same. So that means this is actually PQ. La. So 10 PQ. This is ideally what you want to form. You want to show that they, there's a relationship here. Okay, between this. Okay. And that means they have the same vector. La. Okay. So now we can do our explanation. And our explanation can be Okay, you can write like this. PQ and QR 
are parallel. Okay, because they are parallel, so we are able to form this. Okay, if they are not parallel, we won't be able to form this. So PQ and QR are parallel, and they are sharing the same point Q. Okay, therefore they are collinear. Okay, so that's how you do it. You want to show that they have the same vector.